Hi guys, welcome to Excel Clinic. Are you in this situation where you have many contracts to track and it's getting out of hand to track the expiration date one by one? Today, we will show you how to construct a simple contract management template with reminder using Excel. This video is not so much about Excel formulas and functions, but it's more about how data should be maintained in an Excel spreadsheet. Before we start, with the Excel exercise, please share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Open a blank sheet and input the key information which you require. Normally, it includes business owner, its individual who commercially manages the contract, legal owner, the legal person who owns the contract, reference number, number quoted in the contract, counterparty, the other party entered into the contract, contract type, the forms of the contract. E-file path, where the electronic file is saved. It's important to include this information so that you can assess all the contracts within seconds whenever your boss nice. requests for it. Approval level 1 and 2 is the first and second level of approval. Status is the progress of the contract. Total value is the contract value. Start date is contract start date. Termination date will be the contract end date. Days to contract end. How many days are left to contract expiration? Now let's fill up the information we have on hand. Leave the e-file path and days to contract column first. We will go through them later. Common pitfalls we have seen in contract registers, which do not allow you to do effective filtering and formula calculation, are as per following. First, the contract term is stored in a single cell. The start and end dates are both stored in one cell instead of having them in two separate columns. Second, multiple lines for one single contract. Merging of the cells. Four, insert blank rows. Please avoid doing all of those. Please, no, no! Now we can proceed with the contract register. For the E5 path, we can insert the file location by clicking insert and then go to links and then choose insert links. Choose existing file or web page and then locate the contract. As you can see, the link is auto filled. We should also automate the days to contract end so that whenever you open the file, it will show the number of days left to contract end as of today. Simply write the formula equal termination date minus today. Open and close bracket. Now drag the formula down and change the format from date format to general. So that it will show days instead of dates. Now let's proceed to add a reminder. Let's say we want Excel to highlight those cells if the expiration dates are less than 10 days. We can use conditional formatting and then choose highlight cells if less than 10. Now for those expiration days are less than 10 days are highlighted. You can filter the data by highlighter color to easily spot those contracts which are near expiry. That's all for today. I hope you find this video useful. See ya!